Hey team, this is Dr. Michael McCarthy. When we last talked, we were developing descriptive statistics using the field summary tool. I inserted the field summary tool and the browses that go along with it into this container. And when I have this container open like this, I can actually minimize it by clicking the triangle on the right. You can see it hides it to a certain extent, minimizes it. Or I can just turn it off, which is what I'm going to do here because it actually takes a lot of extra time in the workflow to run the descriptive statistics using the field summary tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off right here. And what I want to show you now is how to use the descriptive statistics uh, and find them using the summarize tool. So the summarize tool is under the transform tab. And it looks like this. You can see it has the sigma for uh, summing. And I put it in to my favorites. It's also over here, my favorites. Uh, so it's a situation where it's very useful. It's more useful than uh, the field summary tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect the summarize tool to the auto field. And once that happens, you can see that all the variables become listed and the variable types. The variable types will also limit the or allow the different types of descriptive statistics that are allowed. So if I wanna start with by having all the English information, all the descriptive statistics for the English ratio independent variable, I come down here to the add button and I'll start by adding the numerical values I want. I'll start with average, which is also the mean. I'll start with the median. And this is where you get a very clear number for the mode. The field summary tool does not report the mode. Of course, I want the standard deviation. And I will go ahead and get the min and the max as well. Before I run this, I'll go ahead and give myself a browse function. And I'll put these, both of these, into a container. I'll right click and add to a new container. And this is where I can format this container. I can change the inside color if I like. Right here, I guess go ahead and make it a nice yellow. And I'll change the name of it. And I'm going to run this workflow. And I can run it by clicking the, the button up here or, or pushing Control R. I want to show you a new technique that I learned recently, and it's where I click on any tool where I want to push the data into and hold it there. And this is called caching the workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on top of this autofill tool. And I'm going to come down to the cache and run workflow. What this does is pushes the data all the way through to the cache and it holds it here. So I can't reconfigure either anything that's got the little bubble around it. It means that it's holding the data. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what our summarized tool is reporting. Here I have the average English ratio, the median for the English ratio, the mode, standard deviation, uh, the min and the max. So this is very, very helpful, but it's just one variable. So let's go ahead and I'll develop this for a couple other variables to show you how it's done. I'll do this real quick. So now I have three different independent variables into three different summarize tools. I'll go ahead and quickly run it. It runs real fast because the data is already stored at the cache here. Let's take a quick look. Here's the English, here's the math, and here's the science. There's one more thing I want to show you about the summarize tool. And it's we can group some of the variables. So right now all the data is by a campus, all these individual state campuses, uh, but I want to understand it at the district level. So I actually can group everything by the district. I can use this group by, and then I can ask for the English ratio average. And then I can ask for the math ratio average. And this will enable me to better understand from the basic descriptive statistics to different descriptive statistics based on different groupings. I'll show you that right here. Let me add a browse real quick. I'll run that. You can see here, when it's grouped by these different independent school districts, 
I can see the averages. And believe it or not, then now I can actually take to, I can plot the average of this school district by the average of, or the math average by the English average. So it's a, this is a very important way to understand our data using the summarize tool. It is different, but yet has very close capabilities as the field summary tool. So it's just another tool in your toolbox for developing your descriptive statistics and better understanding your data. Thanks.